Hi everyone, let's talk about the basics of the market because over the past few weeks I've been doing a lot of videos on market action, specific stock picks but now I want to address people who are, who are not yet invested in the market, don't have any experience yet and want to learn how they can actually invest and make money in the stock market because let's face it, there's still a shroud of uh, there's, there's a shroud of doubt in the market because people think it's risky it's for a lot of people who have a lot of money it's for analysts, you have to watch it every day and it's something that's too hard to understand and the reason why we make this video is here so that if you are an employee you're an entrepreneur you're a stay-at-home mom you're someone who works from home or you're even a student that you can trade the markets that you can make money in the markets that it can be done that wherever you are in life uh, trading and investing could be for you as well so here's the thing let's try to break it down in this video and let's give you snippets on how you can invest make money and trade the markets with Peace and confidence. So what's the stock market? Basically, it's all about businesses. It's all about corporations, meaning companies and businesses want to raise money. They want to have a source of additional uh, capital for them to grow their business. So companies can borrow money. As they start borrowing money, they can take out bonds, they, they can take out loans so that uh, they can use that for them to actually expand and grow. However, and if they don't want to borrow money, another way for them, another option for them to raise funds is via selling their shares. Meaning, if I'm a corporation, say Jollibee, BDO, SM, I sell my shares to the stock exchange. As I sell my shares to the stock exchange, what does that do? It allows common people like us who don't have access, like the big financial institutions who don't have access to be able to get deals like that. What does it do? If you're a common person and you, and you have an account in the stock market, it allows you to buy shares of all of those companies. So what does that essentially mean? If you're an investor and you buy those shares, it actually makes you a part owner. Imagine to you becoming a part owner of the largest conglomerates here in the country. People think the stock market is risky. People think that the stock market is gambling. But think about it. How can it be gambling if you are investing in Jollibee, in SM, in Ayala, companies that will be there, companies that are so large that they have, they have passed so many uh, bad economic times but they're still there and they're still growing. That's what I like about the stock market. If you compare it to starting a company that you don't have any experience with, that even has a greater risk. Or you investing in a friend, a friend that has no uh, idea yet or doesn't have a track record yet of doing business, that's even riskier. So when people say the stock market is risky, think about it. If you are investing in companies that you know, you're investing in companies that are good, that are growing, then it becomes relatively not as risky as what people think it is. So the stock market is not gambling because you are not just buying companies, you're not just buying a thicker code, but you are buying companies that are good, growing, and have a big uh, chance to make even more money as well. So now, here's the thing. What are the risks in the stock market? There are certain risks also when you invest. We have to understand this. In every investment, in every business that you put your money into, there are always risks and rewards. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. The lower the risk, the lower the reward as well. So what are the possible risks when it comes to the stock market? Let's try to take it one by one. Of course, if you buy a business, if you buy a piece of a company, if the company closes down and you are a part owner, you will take the risk of it and you can possibly also lose money from that deal. Or the company that you are buying, it's not growing, it's maturing, it's not earning as much, then guess what? The company that you're buying is not earning as much or it's not growing, the stock price or the company itself will not grow. And in turn, if you are an investor, you may not make as much money from that deal as well. So that's how it goes. That's why you have to study also. If you want to invest in the stock market, you have to study and you have to check if these companies are, are worth coming into. It. And if these companies have a growth story that their companies have increasing clients and increasing industry that can make them actually grow and make more money in the future. If you buy shares of stock, you buy shares of the company, it makes you a part owner. But how do you make money from it? How do you earn two ways? Number one is what you call capital appreciation. You buy a stock, the stock goes up in price, 
as it goes up in price, you sell it at a much higher valuation. Meaning, it's just like you buying a condo. You buy a condo at 5 million, the condo goes up to 6 million. You sell it, you have a 1 million profit. That's what capital appreciation means. So you buy Jollibee at 270, 280, sell it at 300, sell it at 330, you make money off of that. Now, second way to earn, which is a more conservative way to earn money, is what you call dividends. Dividends are basically this. You buy a company, and part of the earnings of it, part of the excess earnings from it that the company won't use anymore, they will give to you as they will give to you, they will return to you as an investor. So meaning companies who are earning, companies who are making money, as they are making money, they will return their profits to you, and you as an investor in turn get portions of the income that's coming there. So if you're a relatively conservative investor, this might be for you. This is something that will fit you. And some of the dividends also are even better than time deposits as well. So if you have money there that's floating around that you don't use on a regular basis, why not just put them in the stock market, leave them for the long term, assuming that you're buying a good company with dividends that are high. And it's not scary why as long as a company is giving dividends, it means it's making money. It means that it has more than enough for itself. So it will give you the upside potential that, hey, I can actually earn more from this. So you are earning via dividends over the long term. Plus, the price of the stock is also moving up and going higher. So now you know what the market is, how you can invest, what are the risks, and how you can actually make money. So the next step now is for you to have an entry point, a platform on how you can actually start investing in the market. So what is that platform? You need an online brokerage like 2Trade Asia. 2Trade Asia is an online platform which is the middleman. You cannot enter the stock market without a brokerage, similar to what we have for 2Trade Asia. Uh, as you enter the brokerage, it allows you to have access to buy all the 200 plus stocks that are in our market. They give you research. They give you all the tools that you need to be able to make the right decision when it comes to your investments and it, it allows you an entry point also to be able to buy and sell the shares as well so what's the next step after knowing that you need an online brokerage account like 2Trade Asia to have access to the stock market, to have access to over 200 plus stocks in the PSE. Uh, the next step for you is to log into their page, download the application form, fill up all the requirements. Then after filling up all the requirements, you also need to send government issued IDs for you to be able to verify your identity as well. It's just like any normal bank or any application to a UITF or any investment out there. So the, after doing so, after doing that, you just have to pass those items, they will process it, you have to fund your account, and that's it. just have to fund your account via the 2Trade Asia uh, website and after funding it, what happens? You have money in your platform and that platform will allow you to buy and sell shares. So when you transfer your account, it's not it's not the money that gets automatically uh, debited quickly. It goes to the, the account, it goes to the 2Trade Asia account and that's your fund money so that you can buy and sell shares that you would want to transact on. So that's just basically it. Now, here's the thing. I'll walk you through how the website works. I'll walk you through also how you can input stocks, buy and sell them, that it's not as hard as what people think it is. It's something that's relatively uh, simple because you just enter your buy and sell codes and you're done. So let's take it one by one as well and how I'll show you also how you can actually log into the website. So now, looking at the interface of the 2Trade online brokerage, it's just like a normal Facebook account or it's just like any online platform that it's not so hard to navigate through the buttons, the tabs, and everything else in between. Uh, what needs more analysis actually is what stock to buy, when to buy it, the analysis of which stock is a good and growing company, or at the same hand also, how do you actually time your entry and exit, but just to have the look and feel and also just go through uh, the website of the brokerage it's easy for you to understand if uh, browsing through websites to you is something that you do all the time just navigating to the website it's not as hard as what you think it is so now let me navigate and let me show you a bit of the items here for example if you want to go and say watch a stock you just click go to quotes then if you as you go to quotes you can enter a stock that you want say Jollibee which is uh, the code JFC here's the thing also if you are 
new to the market, some of these codes may be uh, hard for you to memorize at first, but as you start doing it, it will just come uh, relatively natural as well. So here's the thing, you enter the code JFC. If you want to buy the stock, you just have to press buy and it will lead you to another screen which will allow you to input uh, the number of shares that you want for Jollibee. Then aside from the number of shares that you want, the price that you want to buy as well. So in the next uh, few months, we'll be doing more videos also how we can analyze or we could uh, interpret this entire quote page for those who are uh, new to the markets. But essentially, it's just like that. Click the button buy. Click the number of uh, shares that you want to buy. Then the price that you want to buy it. Then after that, you can put the term. Either you want it to be executed or matched with the day, meaning... Uh, how do I put this? If you put uh, if you put a term that's day, if it doesn't get matched for this day, it will get uh, it will be cancelled altogether. Then you have an opportunity. If you are relatively busy, you can use GDW, which is good till week, or GTM, which is good till month. Meaning, if you place the bid, it doesn't get hit today. It will be it will be re up and it will be uh, still placed the next day for the the next day, then the next day, and the next day until a week or a month would pass. If it if no one would get your order for the week or the month, then that's when it gets cancelled. But either either way, it allows you to be able to uh, trade passively. For the short term as well for the long or the short term and uh, that would be your style next uh, if you want the man to sell you decide some time to sell already it's just also one click of a button you just have to click sell uh, pick the button sell the stock that you want to buy the number of shares that you want to sell and the price that you want to sell it as well so it's it's as easy trading or even uh, accessing and be having a chance to uh, buy and sell uh, using an online platform it's not as hard as what most people think it is and that's what's amazing about it you can be anywhere in the world as long as uh, you have an online access you have an online connection uh, to trade will allow you to trade asia will allow you to uh, have the access and uh, make money at your own terms like now i'm in qatar right now uh, but in spite of me being out of the country it does not uh, prevent me from being disconnected from the market. It does not prevent me. It's not It's not a hindrance for me to be able to monitor and trade and invest in the market because it allows me to be able to invest and make money as well. So what's amazing about that, it's, it just takes a few seconds and minutes of your time each day to be able to monitor it, to be able to track it. And it depends on what your lifestyle is. You can you can tweak your trading based on that. So let's navigate this further. Another thing that you can look at here is this. If you want to analyze more than one stock, it can be done also. So I'll try to input a couple of stocks here. Ayala Land, which is Ali. JFC, we've mentioned it. SMPH for SM Prime Holdings, which is the mall operator of SM. Then you have Metro Pacific Investments, which is a large conglomerate that is distributed to uh, Meralco, which has shares in Meralco, uh, Manila, owns hospitals, uh, is into construction and toll roads, and you can also check AC BDO. This allows you know in one look to have a quick analysis or quick watch of all of the stocks that you want to see. So in just a few seconds, you you have the stocks that you want. You have an idea also of uh, all of the trades that are happening. Uh, while the market is opening as well so uh, i guess that's what's nice about it and it, it gives you a good look and feel of also that if you are a passive investor uh you don't have to be intimidated by how you go about those trades or how you go about the platform as well uh, another thing that I, i'd like to show you is at least you get a sense of what's uh, the most active stocks also for this platform like you get to see the largest amount or value that gets traded each day so you also see uh, the number of stocks that uh, has the largest amount you also get the number the top gainers meaning the stocks that uh, move up the highest and the stocks also that drop the lowest as well so it's not as hard as what uh, most people think it is and for those that uh, want to analyze it from a technical analysis perspective they all there's also charts already inside the two trade asia app that will allow you to uh, trade and for, uh, for people who like to use technical analysis will do more videos about this but uh, you can analyze it looking at it from where we are as well or from this from this platform but what's nice about this it's not just about analyzing it uh, from a website but they have to trade asia also as an app that 
uh, it can allow you and it give, can give you a shot also of analyzing it on the go as well. So that's what's uh, nice about it. So it's not anymore uh, a hindrance that that you're busy because since everything is online, you can actually trade the markets with confidence. It's nice also of having an online broker is this. All of the data that you need uh, is condensed in the 2 Trade Asia website also. All of the disclosures about specific companies. If you are a person that's news driven, you are a person that wants to follow how the companies would actually move as well, uh, the 2 Trade Asia website has everything from all of the disclosures that happen into the exchange. So I, I guess that's, that's one of the advantages of it that uh, you don't have to go to the PSE website. You don't even have you don't have to go to the specific uh, investment relations uh, portion of each of the websites that uh, each of the listed companies would have. But you can see everything in one go already. So I, I think it's not as what what I like about this is uh, if you, you can be an active trader that wants to trade in and out of the markets, or you want to be a passive trader. Uh, what online trading does it it gives you the ability, the capacity. To do it on your own it gives you the ability and the capacity also to be able to uh still work or have a business but at, at the same time uh, make money and invest in the markets as well another thing when you start going online it's not just also the ease of being able to navigate through the website but the, the next thing that you need to look at also is i mentioned about the charts that it has to have relevant charting software for you to be able to use your technical analysis but above and beyond that it's very important also to have significant uh information about the company meaning fundamental analysis and I've, I've been doing a series of videos about it but everything that you need in terms of the valuations in terms of earnings you can also see it here so I, I think that's a very very good uh, step especially for those that want to uh, I guess analyze everything and also uh, invest on a general basis as well so the next question that I'd like to answer is this how do you withdraw your funds so withdrawing is relatively simple as well why you can easily withdraw uh, amounts in your portfolio that are already in cash when I say they're already in cash it means that if you have a stock position you can't uh, convert that and withdraw that right away you can only withdraw portions of your portfolio that are in cash already so meaning say you have X amount of pesos, 25,000, 100,000, 200,000, 1 million pesos that are in cash. The next step that you can do there is just put the amount that you want to withdraw as long as it's under that capacity. Then enter your bank information, then uh, your name, your account number, and all of uh, and the details of where you want it to be sent at the bank as well. Then after that, you enter your password, print the notification, then it gets sent uh, to your account after. After a few days, it's as easy as that. It will get notified to the account that you have uh, inputted and notified there as well. So, uh, moving money is not as hard as what you think it is also. So this is what we've talked about so far. Number one, the stock market is not gambling. Why? Because you are investing in the largest corporations here in the country. Next, it's not as complicated as what people think it is because you're just buying and investing in companies. And online trading has made it easy and accessible for you to be able to trade. Plus, the access to data and information is all there already. We didn't have that 20 or 30 years ago. I believe online trading has somehow made the playing field equal and level to everyone who wants to invest in the market. Everyone wants a dream. Everyone wants to uh, trade the markets with confidence as well. Another thing is this: uh, people think that the stock market, pe people think that the stock market is something that you need to watch every day. And as we've talked about a while ago, it all depends on your time horizon. If you are in it for the long term, it doesn't really matter why, because as long as you're buying good and solid companies, as long as that company will be there five, 10, 20 years from now, it's something that can allow you to sleep well at night because you are buying something that's good, solid. And legit as well so i hope this helps you expect more and more basic videos because i know that there are a lot of people who are watching this youtube uh channel that don't have any idea yet about the stock market so aside from the normal uh market elements and day-to-day -day movement technical and fundamental analysis we'll make more and more videos like this because the heart and the goal 
of this channel is just really to bring more and more Filipinos to the knowledge of stock investing that my biggest dream is just to see more and more Filipinos uh, not just invest but successfully invest in the market so that you can use the stock market to help you reach your goals of financial freedom so that's all for now I hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart Marvin Girmo from Qatar see you all again soon